NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arizona Summer Classic. Set in the Sonoran Desert and surrounded by the majestic McDowell Mountains, we're at the stadium course at TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. Hello again and welcome, Rich Loder alongside Frank Navalo, set to bring you all the action for today's event. Frank, when you think about the TPC Scottsdale, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The golf course has been radically changed in 2014, but it still hasn't lost its luster. Really, it's just been updated like the game itself for these young, strong players of the modern era. So we have 190 yards left. 12th hole now, looking at 192 yards, par three. Won't quite play that distance because that tee shot uh, is, is considerably downhill but you really have to be cognizant of the wind if it's coming off the left because it easily brings that water into play down the right should that tee shot just start moving with the wind. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Well, who knows? It is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. Young star. Our featured golfer has made it to the 13th hole. The action right there. Frank, how would you assess this first round performance from our featured golfer? I'd say commercial, solid, very professional. Um, if this is the worst round they score all week, it's not so. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not gonna be too hard. Well, with a good shot here, Rich, uh, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. This could be a good one. He's hit it very close, and he will have that Frank for an eagle. Amazing how quickly the round changes. He'll quickly pick up two shots on the field. And maybe there is a chance for the win. That eagle moving the player into the top ten. Just when we're focused at the top of the leaderboard, there's a lot of movement there in the middle of the field. Par four, 14th, and Frank, this hole packs a little punch, doesn't it? Yeah, the addition of just a, a little bit more yardage. Plus, the bunker on the left has been pushed out into the fairway. It actually makes the hole play a little bit longer than its 490 yards. Second shot is a little bit longer, a little extra. That is burning through the atmosphere. Look at that thing. It's got a tail on it. That's like a rocket ship. That one was launched by NASA. Frank, I know you like boxing. That was some heavyweight power right there. Smoked it. Interesting, with the almost space-age advancements in golf equipment, what with new, lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Moves into second place with that birdie. Great scoring opportunity here at the par 5 15th, but Frank, I'm wondering, as a player, is your mind beginning to think about what's ahead at that part of 316th hole? 
Oh, they are. This this is really the uh, finishing stretch at TPC uh, Scottsdale. Where you get all these swing holes. 15 is a swing hole. 16, 17, and 18, where so many changes in the score can actually happen. But this one here is all about finding the fairway. A good drive down here will be well rewarded because you'll have a chance to reach this par 5 and 2. Excellent drive, Frank, right where you want to be. Second shot. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Just a couple of feet. Just a sensational eagle right there and into second place. Frank, you surprised to see that name on top of the leaderboard? I, I am surprised to see the name, but not that style of golf leading. Uh, it was great performance, especially tee to green. Um, you don't often see people start that quickly. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Arizona Summer Classic. Just tattooed that. Frankie could make Eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach, too. And Rich, if we just uh, sit back and relax here, I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at Eagle coming up. Danger right there, so close. What does he have all the luck? Frank, how rare would this be if this putt? This is, uh, I'd like to. Wow, and with that eagle, Frank, now only two shots back. And all of a sudden, put the name back into the mix just when we thought it might be too late. Par 4, 14. This is though you'd be pretty happy with a par here. You would, uh, even though the putting surfaces here at uh, TPC Scottsdale are excellent. It's going to take two good shots to reach this 14th hole. You can get in a little bit of trouble off the tee. That bunker on the left very much in play. The rough on the right side is no snack either because the ball, more often than not, will finish well above the player's feet. 
And of course, that green is very, very narrow, well protected by bunkers on the left. Frank, uphill shot, what did you like to do on a, a play like this? The biggest thing really is to try and work on your balance. You've got to make sure you get through the shot and normally take an extra club. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that's a full melody now. In complete command of his game, nine under for the tournament with that birdie. Now at the par 5 15th, and Frank, there is plenty to catch your eye. There's also quite a bit to catch your ear. You can hear the roars at the par 3 16th. So how do you focus on the task at hand? Great question, Rich. You realize you're about to enter the stadium part of the golf course, but this is the last par 5 that you're going to play. We've seen eagles here over the years. We've seen many a player hit it in the water off the tee or water short of the green. Certainly one of the tougher tee shots coming in. No bunkers here to worry about just that huge lake to the left. Find the fairway. You might just find the green. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. A sensational shot right there, Frank. Oh, you start beating your chest after a shot like that. That's the best we've seen into this hole to date. Just a tap in to finish the hole. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. Well, partner, here we go. Players have characterized it as terrifying, chaotic, amazing. The stadium atmosphere here at this hole, the 16th of par 3, is really spectacular, isn't it, Frank? It is. Because of the atmosphere, the number of people, this is the closest a golfer gets to, like, kicking a, a field goal in a Super Bowl. It's just surrounded by people. It's not really the difficulty of the hole. Just over 160 yards, a modest par 3. There's no water in trouble. But it's an atmosphere that golfers never normally are familiar with. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. and getting ready for the putt. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, when you get to the 17th hole, we always recall maybe the single most bizarre shot in the history of golf. Yeah, everybody talks about maybe a hole-in-one at 16, but really 17. And the player was Andrew McGee. It was a good tee shot, don't get me wrong. But Rich, it needed an assist. Well, the assist came from Tom Byram, whose brother Kurt is a commentator for the Golf Channel. Tom Byram was just minding his own business, standing on the green, sort of leaning on his putter. And you know what happened. Yeah, the ball hit Tom Byram's putter and then Kareem into the hole. So, 17. Made famous a little bit of history with a couple of names to drag up from the past. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Booty try up next. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Well, again, the fairways are lined with those huge galleries coming off 16 and 17. Now the finishing hole here at TPC Scottsdale. And Frank, what can we expect? Well, this is a goodie. It'll play slightly as a dogleg left now. Many a year, 
a player would try and carry the ball all the way over that water down the left side. But those new bunkers down there, it stopped the JB Holmes attack on this par four. You're really going to have to play a little right of those now. And there's a couple of bunkers up on the hill to stop you doing that. So this is really a much tougher tee shot. 440 40 yards of par four just got a little bit more difficult. Second shot, good look at the green. Good swing, good shot yet again. Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Sinks the putt for birdie. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf. Uh, key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arizona Summer Classic. Frank, what kind of shot is required here at the par 3 fourth? A little drop shot par 3 down the hill in today's standards because it's under 200 yards. Series of three tee boxes, so plenty to choose from there. The entry into the green is well protected now by the two bunkers, one in the center and one on the right front of this green. And this is looking really good. On the green, and a chance for birdie. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Really solid strike. Frank, this is a demanding driving hole, the par four fifth. Another hole that bends gently to the left. There used to be two bunkers down the right side. It's now one. When he goes after it like he is here. Rich, that is annihilation of a golf ball. Absolutely love it. I mean, he just, just tore that thing to pieces. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good. safely on deck. Mm, just a beautiful approach shot. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Well, that was a good looking putt, just not falling right now. Mm, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. That is a solid par putt. Par four sixth, and Frank, a couple of options here. Yeah, a hole that bends to the left. Uh, a draw is the preferred shot off the tee. 
Uh, the longer hitters will have a big advantage. They'll be able to get it down there and just have a uh, pitch or a short wedge into this. If you're not, uh, well, that long, then you're going to have to lay it back short of those bunkers. That's going to leave a lengthy second shot. You can see a little bit off balance on the tee, and that one is going to be in the rough. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. His second shot. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. It's a big putt right here for Birdie. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. On to the par three seventh, 215 yards from that back tee box, Frank. This hole hasn't really changed. Still has that V-shaped green where it's very narrow in the front. Uh, a high-flying shot in here that carries that front edge, and you'll find the further and further you go back there, the more receptive, and that green starts to widen. Appears to be tracking well. And to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for Birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Well, that was a tricky one, but it's in. This is a good hole, Frank, the par four eighth. Yet another dogleg left, Rich, on the front side. Um, and it's a sharper dogleg now because they've put in two bunkers down the left side. It used to be a bailout area for the players in the past. You can't do that anymore. And I doubt anybody can fly it over that uh, left one. It's really 300 and yard, 330 yards to carry that in the air. Those two bunkers have forced the players to go out to the right, making that second shot a little bit longer now. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Birdie try up next. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. And he has it for Birdie. And that wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion that we see tomorrow might be the one just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of it right now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arizona Summer Classic. Always makes the hole easier, playing it from the fairway. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. But, uh, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. Oh, 
this is right at it. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. So a tester from four feet. Good putt. At the 14th now, it's a par four. And a dog leg left once again. The bunker on the left side's been pushed out to the fairway to really make you think whether or not you can carry that. It's a lengthy second shot because it's gonna play a little bit uphill. And this green is well protected on the left side with the two bunkers. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh. I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the card. Now at the par 5 15th, and Frank, there is plenty to catch your eye. There's also quite a bit to catch your ear. You can hear the roars at the par 3 16th. So how do you focus on the task at hand? Great question, Rich. You know, you, you realize you're about to enter the stadium part of the golf course, but this is the last par five that you're gonna play. We've seen Eagles here over the years. We've seen many a player hit it the water off the tee or water short of the green. Certainly one of the tee shots coming in. No bunkers here to worry about, just that huge lake to the left. Find the fairway, you might just find the green. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not going to be too hard. This one has a chance to be close. What a spectacular shot that was. We'll have a look at Eagle. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. All right, Frank, now the fun begins. We are teed up at the par 5 15th hole. Plenty to talk about here. Yeah, the fairway down the left side is anything other than straight. It's more like a shipwreck, the raggedness of it. And that water in play, well, if you do find one on the fairway, you can sort of always wave across to the people that are walking down the 11th hole. Find the fairway, you can reach this par 5 and 2. A little bit of an island looking green there, bunker on the left, and also another bunker just short right. But a fairway missed here. Now you can rack up five, six, seven. We've seen all sorts of scores here at 15. See if you can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Good chance here. Currently at five under par. Frank, this is a player in full flight right now. It looks too easy right now. 17th hole, Frank, and this one is really set up for maximum excitement. Well, there's two things that you really think of. How do I play this hole and how is it going to affect the rest of my round? This is the penultimate hole. If you make a mistake here, it'll carry over. It might cost you the tournament. But if you're a hero, it's going to carry forward to 18. This is why 17 is such a big swing hole.
Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Remember, out of the rough, expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. Oh my goodness, he just made that. I cannot believe it. I was thinking he might get it close. <laughs> and just a great shot. Rich, 18 was always considered a long finishing hole. Not for J.V. Holmes. Yeah, the water was always in play. And then the day he took it over the left side and carried everything and went on to win, that completely changed the way this golf course played ever since that day. And it resulted in some of the changes we're seeing now. Yeah, um, evidence the new bunkering down the left side. But also, it showed us all how much and how strong these guys are, how much they've improved over the years. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Setting up for an approach shot here. Strong wind here early in the round. How do you think this is going to affect the players, Frank? Well, they've got to be clever on a club selection and the type of shot they want to hit now. Just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Rich, it came down to just a shot or two here or there, but uh, we were treated to some amazing golf this week. Just one player standing, and that was earned, well-deserved, beautifully played.